When gospel singer Agnes Nyambura discovered she was HIV positive, her world fell apart. I Linda in 2006. I was married and I was two months pregnant. I was in the I was HIV positive. I was in the hospital for two weeks. Two weeks, one month, and I was in the hospital for some months. I was in the hospital Mimi pita mimi nilimwambia mimi siwezi hatuwezi hatuwezi nikakuruhusu kwa maisha yangu since I'm HIV positive but Peter was not put off by Agnes's HIV status if anything he was more determined to make her part of his life nilikuwa negative na ilibidi Agnes aliniambia twende tukapimwe for a put off yes jua alifikiria nini bado aka insist kumwambia na mimi nikafikiria pengine hata huyu mtu ako positive ni venye hawezi kuniambia ndio nikamwambia twende counseling nikampata counseling hapa Karuri Health Center kwenda tukatestiwa hata mimi nikaambia huyu counselor ni test ndio aamini niko positive cause yako anaamini eh nikatukatestiwa akaba nikapata ko negative na mimi niko positive sasa Sijui hiyo yenye ilimpeleka kwangu sana sijui ni love ama ilikuwa ni nini yeye anaweza sema hapo sasa hiyo inakwanga ni yake yeye anaweza niambia yeye haku hakutoka kwangu ndio tukaamua kuoana but tulikuwa tunatumia protections i vowed in fact i vowed nikasema sitawahi infect mtu ikiwa huyo alini infect ndio asini lose mimi nikasema sitawahi infect mtu so nilikuwa na fikiri yanga labda nikuja kupatana na mtu ako positive ndio at least nikuwa na mume siku anaona kuna vile chances that inaweza kuwa na mtu ako negative unless ni mshike ni mwabukize lakini in fact it can be a caribus zaidi it ignited my passion na vile nilikuwa nimeona potential kwake siku acha niliendelea tu kabisa paka 2008 end of 2008 tukawa tumekuwa husband and wife However, society was not accepting of their union. Even more challenging was the couple's desire to conceive a child. So, they decided to take a risk. Kila mtu watu wengi walikuwa wanajua niko positive. Cuz yeye alifinyika sana. Unajua watu wanapimanga watu na macho. Kwa sijui walimpima aje. Sasa, vile alikuja kwangu watu walikuwa wanatuongea sana. Si tukasema tutawa prove long. Tuseme tuli risk cuz wakati wa kuku na prep. Tuka risk to look out days to risk to have sex without protection na Mungu ni mwema tukamaneje nika get pregnant lakini wakati huo hatukuwa na njia za kufanya ndio tulikuwa tunatumia protection hatukuwa na njia nyingine ila kubahatisha hiyo mtoto sasa hii ako 8 years na kwa negative the decision to conceive a child at the risk of infecting Peter with the virus took a toll on the couple's relationship and Agnes's health. You know, what was positive or this this status it can't stress. No na. So, so zile nili to risk to kapata huo mtoto. Nilibaki na stress na stress sana. In fact that it nirudisha nyuma kiafya. No na. Usa nilikuwa nafikiria nimemu infect. Pia yeye ilimu affect. Cuz in fact hizo siku alikaa nikam tu mgonjwa mgonjwa hivi alikuwa haongei nikimuuliza ananiambia ati i am preparing myself nilikuwa naona kama nimepata maisha yangu itaendelea namna gani tutakuwa tunakunywa dawa wote kama sijapata chances ni aje nimepata ama sijapata kwa hivyo nilikuwa psychologically tormented to the next end i decided to prepare myself psychologically for any eventuality but where well, god is great to test you what we do need to test you and our nikapata niko negative today the couple is thinking about having their third child but this time it's going to be different sasa si tunaishi maisha nzuri tunaishi na protection lakini sasa tuna tunafikiria kupata mtoto mwingine sasa hapo ndio tulitembelea hao watu wa dhika partners in prevention how do you introduce prep kwetu kwa group kwa group kuna wengine wame introduce kwetu say ndio tunataka kutumia kupata mtoto mwingine sasa so kuna different ya saa hii na wakati huo 
Cause sahi hata mkipata, ukipata mtu ati ni watu wengi wanapimu, unakuta mtu wako positive, mwingi na negative. Mi ushangaa watu wakiachana, hata na shangaa kwani watu waone information, ama ni nini. Cause munaishi squeeze, munaishi tu vizuri, munatumia hiyo prep, na ye mwenye kwa positive, anakunyo madawa vizuri, anamanage viral road yake, anaisuppress tu kabisa. So chances za kuinfect mwenzako, zinakuwa ziko chini sana. do it confidently. No, no. Because I believe the gap between a HIV positive person and a HIV negative person with PLEP is between thinnest and eliminated.